Hello, this is Devin, and this is a book review on the book Magellan's Terrifying Circumnavigation of the Globe Over the Edge of the World by Lawrence Bergreen. Um, this book is not all that bad. It wasn't my favorite, but as far as required reading goes, it wasn't like the worst. It's kind of like a bad documentary you see on Discovery Channel in the morning that you never watch and there's nothing else on. Um, the whole book is told by Magellan's chronicler. But it's like a few things are changed just to make the story more interesting. Um, it, the Magellan's chronicler who took uh, accounts of the entire voyage. Um, most of it's in third person, although there's a little bit of first person which is kind of like spliced in there. It's kind of confusing, but once you get it, it's not too bad. Um, the book begins with telling about Magellan and how he became the person who he became. He was a fan of Columbus and he took a few voyages down to Africa. Eventually, when he was ready to do his own voyage, um, he was looking for backing from either Spain or Portugal. He got it from Spain, Charles V. Um, and because of getting it from Spain, uh, he was Portuguese, and many of the Spanish sailors that sailed under him didn't really like that. So mutiny was always a problem with them doing this voyage together. Um, as, when the voyage started, they went... They went straight to the Canaries, which most people did, to restock on food and water and everything. They paid for probably three times what they were given, so they were given a third of what they paid for um, in the Canaries. They just gypped them, really. Um, and then for about ten pages of the book, it was the Atlantic crossing, it wasn't really a big deal, but I guess I have to mention it. Um, and then eventually they arrived in Brazil on February 8th. Uh, once they were there, they started trading with uh, natives and Indians or whatever, Native Americans, really. Um, and uh, they traded beads and hats and clothes and gold and whatever, right? So, um, and the, it was important they stayed out of Portuguese water for the Treaty of Tortiles. Uh, and uh, especially since like Portuguese was like on the run to catch them, it was ooh, not good for Magellan. So he was keeping he was keeping good time with his sailing, right? Um, uh, as he sailed down the east coast of South America, there was many talks about mutiny, mutinies, um, with talking about how he's a Portuguese and his flag isn't right and whatever, um, and he go, gets into a series of storms, and he has to stop by this bay, and they're stuck there for a while, and uh, there's like no natives at all, and they're around uh, Patagonia, um, and eventually a, a one native comes out, and it's, he's really tall, and they call them the Patagonia Giants, even though they're only like six feet tall, but they're mostly friendly until Magellan tries to kidnap one, and they like uh, you know throw rocks and whatever and it, it really sucked because they because they showed them how to catch everything and now they had to leave um they continued continue sailing south for a little bit longer until more storms put them in the bay of saint julian here was uh the mutiny of three different captains of his five ship fleet five ship fleet of Santiago, Trinidad, Victoria, San Antonio, on Concepcion. Concepcion. Uh, al although they tried, they outnumbered Magellan's loyal men. Uh, Magellan's quick thinking and tactical thinking got him through it. He uh, used a longboat to get in and sneak in and do all of this awesome stuff and, and stop the mutiny, really. And then the mutineers were tortured and usually killed. A couple of them were uh, marooned. Now, um, um, he had to wait for in this pay for all winter because the storms were so bad. Um, and that's probably why the mutineer, mutineers did their mutiny, because they had to wait for so long. But once spring came along, they continued south looking for the strait. Um, which was a lot farther south than Magellan expected it to be. He had already expected to be in the Spice Islands by now, which is, you know, near 
India. Um, eventually, he found the strait, but while in the strait, his ship.